Hello everybody, this is Paul. In today's lesson I'm going to be explaining two important types of logarithms. Before we go any further in our discussion about logarithms, it's really important to know about these two basic types. The first one is simply referred to as log base 10. The second is the natural log. And these two types of logarithms are so important that they're placed on most good calculators. So you'll see, usually on a good calculator, you'll see log base 10 written like this. And the natural log on a good calculator will be a button that just says LN. So what do these two things mean? Well, anytime you have a logarithm, and we'll just say it's a log with an argument x, there's no base specified here. Because normally, when we have a logarithm, it's written in this form, log base a of b. So it's some base raised to some power, we'll just call it y in this case, so a to the y equals b. So in this case, we don't have a base specified. So anytime you see a log without a base specified, then you just have to assume that that is log base 10. So this button on your calculator is simply talking about log base 10. The second one is the natural logarithm, and it's referred to as ln. So if we have the natural log of x, that's really the same thing as log base e of x. So what is e? e, think of it as a number. Think of it as a number just like pi is a number. So it turns out that e is very useful when you get to calculus. And e is equal to 2.718 and a bunch of numbers that follow. And I'm not really going to discuss the meaning of this today because it's beyond the topic that we're talking about. It's, it's a little bit deeper than what I want to get into today. But it turns out that log base e is so important, especially in calculus, that people have referred to log base e as ln, the natural log. So when you see buttons like log and ln on your calculator, I want you guys to understand that log implies that you're working with a logarithm of base 10 and that ln, or the natural log, implies that you're working with a logarithm of base e. So I just wanted to cover those two things since it's really important before we continue with the lessons. So anyway, Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more logarithm videos and I'll be explaining how you can solve logarithm videos with some tricks pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, as always, have a great day and don't forget to subscribe.